Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to find the area of a triangle if you know the coordinates of the vertices. For example, if we know the vertices of a triangle are 2, 4 and 3, negative 3 and negative 3, 1, we can create a triangle Well, the area of that is a little bit hard to calculate by itself, but if we look at a rectangle that encloses that whole thing and find the area of that rectangle and subtract the area of the triangles that are not included in the original triangle, those triangles are easier to see a rectangle that they're half of a rectangle. For example, this one here in blue, if I had a rectangle this big, then half of that would be the rectangle that is out the, the triangle that's outside of the triangle. Meaning this part right here. Well, that rectangle is 3 by 5 so the area is 15 but the area of the triangle is only, only half of that of the shaded part so that would be 7.5 well this triangle here the rectangle that would have two that size would have an area of 1 times 7 would be 7 but the triangle itself is only half of that. And this last triangle is 4 by 6. So the area of the, if it were a rectangle, it would be 24, but only half of that rectangle is the triangle itself, area of 12. So here we have 11 and 12, 23. The area of the entire rectangle is... Um, 6 by 7, so the area of the entire rectangle would be 42 squares, square feet or square centimeters or whatever those units will be. We'll subtract our 23, and those are the pieces of the triangles, and that gives us 19. Can we verify that with GeoGebra? Let's try it. In GeoGebra, I graphed a, I plotted those three points, and the area calculated from this, I created a polygon, and then I measured the area, and it says that the area is 19, 19 square units. So let's try one more, just for practice. I'll go ahead and do the area in GeoGebra first. We'll just move this 3, negative 3. We'll move him to negative 1, negative 3. And it says the area of that is 13. So now we'll go try it out mathematically and see if that works out to an area of 13. Okay, 2, comma 4. Negative 1, negative 3. Negative 3, negative, negative 3, 1. So here's our triangle. Let's draw a rectangle that includes all of that triangle. The area of that rectangle can be found because it's 5 wide and 7 tall, so the area of the whole thing is 35. Let's find the area of this triangle here. That's a 3 by 7, so for an area of 21 if it were a rectangle, but half of that is triangle, so that would be 
This one is 4 by 2. So the area of that would be 8, but it's half of that. Area of 4. And last one is 3 by 5, 15. But the triangle is only half of that. Half of 15 is 7.5. Add those together and I get 11.5 and 10.5. That gives me 22. So if I have an area of 22 for all the triangles, I subtract that from the 35. That gives me an area of 13. And that's what GeoGebra thought the area of that triangle was as well.